guys, the Jace Dog here, and welcome back to another episode of One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 on the channel. That is right, guys, today is episode number 5 of our playthrough of this game. If you are enjoying it just as much as me, make sure you hit that like button hard, but not too hard, because you'll break your computers. Don't forget that subscribe button and the notification bell to join the Dog Squad. If you want to follow me on all my social medias, they're all linked in the description down below. Previous episode is also in the description down below. And guys, don't forget we have a playlist on the channel where you can watch all the episodes that we have uploaded for the One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 story mode, as well as all the character showcases will be in that playlist when we do them. So, without further ado, it's time to dive back in to where we left off in the last one. Back where we left off on the Alabaster Arc. That is right, guys. If you have been enjoying watching me play through Pirate Warriors 4, I want you to let me know in the comment section down below. Once we're done with the story mode on Pirate Warriors 4, and of course the character showcases as well, we'll go back and do Pirate Warriors 3. I've also been thinking about doing a bunch of other One Piece games because I've really been enjoying this. So I know there's Burning Blood, I bought that like maybe a couple of weeks ago on PS4. Uh, we also have... World Seeker, which I have as well. I've only played a little bit of that, so I, I could definitely go back to the start and redo that on the channel. And um, yeah, well, there's a lot of One Piece games, like there is with Naruto and Dragon Ball and all these other ones. So we've got plenty of anime content to hit the channel for a long, long time. And I'm really keen to smash out all these anime games on the channel and have some fun. So, Alabaster Arc. We are at episode number five, of course, like I said, Push on through a great battle of the royal tomb. Covered in wounds, Luffy arrives in Alubana on the hunt for Crocodile. He heads to the battlefield ready to save Vivi in the kingdom of Alabasta. That is right, so this is the one we're up to right now, fighting Crocodile again. So we did this one here, Land of Desserts, and of course the brotherly bonds and the great enthusiasm. We did that in the first episode with the uh, Kado and Big Mum type of starting tutorial fight thing which was awesome if you haven't checked that out i highly recommend it second episode we took on the key to a great escape mr prince where we played as sanji which was awesome we also then in episode three we went mano in mano luffy v crocodile and then of course last episode we went in a all-out assault an unstoppable fight the final battle will be in alubana and in that one we took on miss all sunday we took on at number two and number one and it was a pretty epic episode. We played as Zoro. I really love playing as Zoro. He's one of my favorites. Uh, he is pretty much my top favorites in the guy side, at least. And then, of course, like I said, we're back into this one. Episode 5. We're going to be diving into this one, guys. We're only doing one per episode, just because that's why I can have fun with doing this and not have it as, like, really long episodes. It'll be in the 30 to 20 minute marks, so that's good. So let's dive in here. So we're playing as Luffy. Yes. You. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Oh, he tried. That's right. He tried to kill Miss Um Allah. Uh, Miss All Sunday. Water. See, because he's made of sand. She's like, if I. Ooh. I forgive you, for Nico Robin. Damn, stabbed in the back. Because in the end, I never trusted anyone. No, Robin. Okay, well, what a cutscene that was. Stabbed her in the back. So, of course, there's another one on one one like we did before when we were outside in the desert. So, Luffy v. Crocodile, and there's one chest there which. I'm guessing the chest, because they give me um, healing stuff, I should only use the chest when I desperately need it, when I'm like maybe at like a quarter health to heal me up more, so that's what I will do. Victory condition. Give Crocodile a beating. Lose condition. Luffy defeated. Earth mission. Settle things with Crocodile and keep your promise with Vivi. Okay, now growth map. We do have a bit to do on the growth map. Um... I could do a little bit more on Luffy. I don't really want to. I want to do it on this one as, uh, just because, you know, why not? Give us all a little bit more life. Uh, we'll give some of that because that's skills. Uh, what's the attack here? 
make us a little bit more stronger so we give him a good old beat down. Um, what do we want? Some defense. Uh, we'll give him another attack. Give him some more skills. Can't do that one. Um, what haven't I done? Stamina gauge? Why not? Okay, now we're going for a little bit on Luffy. Uh, we'll make him have a little bit more attack. A little bit more defense. A little bit more life. And that is it. Okay, so we're throwing the coins everywhere. Filling up our awesomeness. Making ourselves cool. Can I upgrade these? Um, so I can think I can change them. Yeah, I can. So he has Gum Gum Windmill. I like that one though. I like that one. I think I might just leave his move set the way it is for the time being. Herculean Strength, Pursuit, Bounty Hunter gives defeated enemies a small chance of dropping bags of berries. The higher skill levels, the drop chance is higher. Increases attack against unconscious enemies at higher skill levels, the stat is increased. Uh, break gauge attack power as well as the attack against unconscious enemies. I think I'll go with Bounty Hunter to be honest. And then I'll put on Herculean Strength. I can put on more, okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. We'll put all, all three of them on him. You know, why not? Why not? Let's set sail. Time to beat down Crocodile, boys. Beat down Crocodile. Smile for me, Croco. Huh? You won't. You won't. You're scared. You won't. You're scared. Oh, just raining down fighting on him. Oh, just beating him down. You don't like it when I beat you, do you, Croc? Huh? You don't like it when I beat you. And we are playing on normal difficulty as well, guys, if you are curious on what difficulty the J-Stock plays this game on. So there was easy, there was free to choose from at the start. There was, I think it was um, easy, medium, and, um, well, easy, normal, and hard. I went normal. Because never played a Pirate Warrior free game. Uh, well, not even Pirate Warriors free. Never played Pirate Warriors at all. So I thought, why not just dive in and have some fun on medium. Come on, Crocodile, put up more of a fight, bro. He's not really putting up much of a fight. It's kind of... It's kind of pissing me off, Crocodile! You're kind of pissing me off, Crocodile! Don't blame me when I kill you, boy! I can't even read because... I'm too busy just destroying this guy. Oh. So this is the big boss battle of this arc, by the looks of it. Oh! Uh, it's starting to collapse! I think I avoided some of that. Uh oh. Water is pouring out one of the broken pillars. I can take it down. If I could take it down. Oh, so I gotta take down the pillar? Was it this pillar? Which pillar was it? Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna ignore you, crocodile, because I'm just gonna attack these pillars because I'm gonna make your life a living water hell. So you know, sand. If you get sand wet, obviously it's gonna be hard for him to move around much. Is that all of them? Oh, hey, crocodile, you're gonna lose this fight, boy. You know you're gonna do it. You know you're gonna lose because you're all wet and you're stanky. And nobody likes when they're wet and stanky. Bring it on, crocodile. You're just a wet, stanky croc. And I gotta beat you down for VV. Damn, he's taking a while to beat. Maybe I need to get him in the water. I always smack me into the Get up! 
Ah. Oh, the water fountain stop. No. Oh, come on. There we go. I think I beat him. I don't care who you are or where you come from. I will surpass you. Ouch. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that is awesome. Gong Gong Storm, eh? Oh, that's cool. He broke through it. Oh, ho, ho. Just a barrage of attacks. Raining the punches. <laughs> and now Luffy's kind of hurt. Or he's exhausted. That was cool. S rank, baby. S rank. That's what I'm talking about. Boss fight. Boss battle. We beat down the crocodile. That was fun. I actually really enjoyed that fight, especially that cutscene. It was pretty decent, actually. So, is he level 2 now? Surely he's level 2 like everyone else. No? Okay. Whatever. Look at all that moolah. All that berries. Crocodile has been unlocked. So, Crocodile can now be played in Free Log and Treasure Log. Obtained Crocodile's Map 1. So... Like I said, we will be doing character showcases on the channel for every single character in this game. Even the ones that we've already played, like Luffy and that, they will get their own episodes. That's not a part of the story, so you can expect to see a crocodile showcase in the near future, guys. Here we go. In the Luffy is a crocodile. The Baroque Works is destroyed. The Arabasta's decision is... ムギワラの一味とビビの活躍により終結した。スカノマの休息と宴に興じるルフィたちだったが、海軍は彼らを。ナイビカムネン。海上封鎖を観光。ゴーイングメリー号を心配する一味の元に船は無事だと連絡が
She's waving. <laughs> she ain't coming. I've come to say goodbye. Oh, speaker. Rip hurt her soul. She just wanted to hear that like, you know that we'd still be friends and whatnot. But the navy's there, so can't risk it. Yeah, this is a way of showing the arms with the X's, baby. That's what we're talking about, and that's how she knows. <laughs> oh yeah. Damn man hitting you in the fields. Well, only just started playing this game. I was hitting me in the fields. Okay, well, looks like we've finished the Alabaster arc. We're at the NI's lobby arc. So that's not that bad. So Alabaster arc is now complete. So how about that guys? We finished that one as an A rank. We got an S rank, A, A, and S. So of course these other A's, I'll go back in my own time and get them smashed out. But the next arc is the Anais lobby arc. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right. But that is where we're going to be in the next episode, episode six. We're going to be diving into a new arc for the story, guys. If you are keen for that one, I'm not going to click on it just in case it puts us in a cutscene or anything like that. We're going to do that in the next episode, like I said. So stay tuned for the next episode if you are keen to see more of One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 on the channel. That's right, guys. So we're finished one arc. Five episodes is all it took to finish one arc. And we're going to be getting into that in the next episode. So like I said, we have now finished the Alabaster arc. I thoroughly enjoyed that. It was really fun. You know, that little last little bit of cutscene with Vivi and whatnot hit you in the feels, but, you know, there's more when they raise their arms with the X's and whatnot. That's where it kind of hit me hard because, you know, you know, they can't say anything, but here's the symbol. You know, the X shows that they're, you know, they're going to be friends no matter what. And even though the Navy didn't hear it, they won't know that that's what the case is. So guys, with that being said, we are now finished with episode number 5. The Alabaster Arc is now complete. We beat Crocodile. Vivi is now allowed to pretty much stay as the Princess of Alabaster. While of course our crew heads on to the next place to do some more work. So like I said, if you did enjoy watching this episode and you are enjoying watching me play through One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 on the channel as well as all the other stuff that we're currently doing on the channel, let me know in the comments down below and hit that like button hard, but not too hard, because you'll break your computers. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to join the Dog Squad. If you want to follow me on all my social medias, we're all linked in the description down below. And like I said guys, we got a lot to do with this game. We got more arcs that we got to go through in the story, and more feels that are probably going to get hit, more tragedies are probably going to happen, more epic battles are going to happen as well. So sit back and relax and enjoy the ride because no matter what, we will complete Pirate Warriors 4 on the channel, then we'll do all the character showcases, and then after that, it will be up to you guys whether or not I go back and do Pirate Warriors 3, or I go to like Burning Blood, or World Seeker, or whatever. 
when we get to that point, but we'll talk about that when it gets closer. But like I said, guys, I am keen to continue to do this. I'm really enjoying this game. I thought, you know, I, I knew I would enjoy it, but I didn't think I'd enjoy it this much. So that's a plus when you can enjoy a game a lot more than you thought. So like I said, guys, episode five of One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 is now done. If you are keen to start the next arc with me, let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, guys, stay awesome. The Jace Dog is out of here. See you.